it's been a while it's been a couple of weeks since I've had a decent fishing session um, Gosport lifeboat station I've got three rods in the water and I'm fishing it's a bit of a collaboration fishing session tonight as well because I've got Stuart aka the sweet corn kid just to my right and he's got three rods in the water as well and we're not fussy what we're going to catch tonight but the rigs and baits are all set up for rays expecting the whiting knives and forks dinner plates queuing up out there at the moment as you can see it's dark took a little bit of drone footage earlier on just to give a run of the beach i like adding that in while it was daylight a bit of drone footage just to set the scene of where we're at But got loads of plans so I've got some testing to do still comparing the trident tackle and the Gemini tackle pulley rigs so that's ongoing breakaway casting cannons I've got a couple of those to try out carrying on doing a comparison with braid and mono and what my thoughts are with the setup that we've got at the moment I'm fishing two 15 foot rods and a 12 foot rod. The 215s have got braid and the surf blasters and the 12 foot 6 has got a Shimano with mono and they're all fishing tonight, this scenario, they're all fishing up and over rigs with 3 foot hook traces. So it should be interesting. Bait this evening is bluey squid wraps. Spent the afternoon today prepping them at home. No bait prep here tonight. All going straight on the hook little bit of elastic and getting them out it's all about maximizing fishing time tonight so it's good stuff glad to be out beautiful evening and I'll give you a spin round with the camera and there's Stu just with his setup at the moment, doing a little bit of filming as well. So hopefully we can sort out something and give you a bit of a show. First catch of the night. Um, it's a hunking great big starfish. <laughs> I've saved the blank with a honking great big starfish. <laughs> Me, in fact, Stu ain't caught anything yet. So my starfish is the first thing of the evening. Because it's unusual, I think that's me that's in the lead at the moment. So we've no fish, but one starfish. <laughs> what an amazing thing. Look at it on camera, look. All its little tentacles and leggies and things. I'm gonna go and put it back. But yeah, starfish. <laughs> that's, a new, that's a new one on me. The size of it. You could dry it out and put it on top of a Christmas tree next year. One starfish. <laughs> I hope we're going to catch some fish instead. Let's have a look at some of the comments. It's comments time. <laughs> Let's just see if we can adjust some of this light down a bit. There we go. How's that? Is that a bit better? So it's getting cold. I've put Stu's hat on because I forgot mine. And let's have a quick look through. So, what have we got? New subscriber, Jake Campbell. Support's really appreciated, buddy. Um, so yeah, only three hours ago. So that's a fresh new subscriber. Really appreciate that. And Nathan, Nathan Roberts. Nathan has moved to the Gospel area from Cornwall. So the fishing's gonna be totally different to what he's used to. Obviously fishing principles are the same, but all new venues, different kind of um, beaches and all that kind of stuff. So I've been chatting to Nathan via you know like the comments section um yeah i hope you do really well buddy i hope you have a bit of luck always need that little bit of luck don't you so no matter how good your skills are and i hope you enjoy fishing this new area i must admit most of us that fish this area would like to fish where you've come from so nathan roberts all the best buddy and i hope you do really well um jules delta I hope I've pronounced that right. J U L Z Jules Jules Delta. Um, where's all the visit? Where's all the videos gone? I've had a really busy week with the family. So last weekend I was travelling. 
and I wasn't in the area and I went to the Midlands and there's no beaches there so I couldn't even take the rods with me um, and some personal things have happened over the last couple of days without going too deep because you're all here for the entertainment side of things I haven't had any videos out and I, I really do um, apologise for that but we're working on it so Dave Wilkins uh, was interested in the IMAX shelters. I did something different with the IMAX shelter tonight. So usually I pull it all tight so that if you close the doors, the doors would come together in the middle. Did something a little bit different tonight. I put it together and left the doors splayed open. It's given me so much, because it's not raining and it wasn't forecast to rain, it's not windy and it's not forecast to be windy. So I've splayed the doors right open and it's given me so much more room inside here. It's not detrimental to anything, everything's tensioned up nice. It's worked really well, so I might do that again in the future. My IMAX shelter, because where I do a lot of filming, I put it up every time I go, it's had a right old kick in, and it's faring quite well, to be honest. And you can't beat the price. So John Cox, John Cox has given me some really good pointers and he also corrected me on my thoughts with the pen surf blasters. So I thought those little rubber strips that down the side were like spray guards that you know stop the water from flicking out. No, they're line guides. And you know, very respectfully sort of corrected me. I don't know everything, I don't know very much to be honest, but I really appreciate it, John, you know. So you, you you obviously understand and, and know a little bit more about the reels than I do and if I'm putting something out there that's not right absolutely totally and utterly thank you very much I really enjoy the fact that um, every day's a school day I've learnt something I didn't know there were line guides so I hope you're all going to enjoy what we've got planned this year I haven't really spoke about what's happening this year got big plans so there's a lot going on so we're coming into place season before we know it we're into peeler back and smooth hounds then we're into the summer we're going to do a chisel special where we're going to stay there over the weekend and we're going to nominate that weekend so there's a chance for people to visit if they've never visited chisel before it'll be an ideal time to focus and book themselves in to have a go themselves if they want to meet myself and some others when we're down there a chance to compare tactics, bait, tips, look at rigs, kit during the day in the summer when it's nice and we're in t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. So the Chesil special this year will be a meet and greet open invite as well. So that might be of interest to some people, especially if you've never fished it before or especially if you choose a few times a year because you've got to travel to go there. It adds a social element to it as well. I'll probably take some bulk gear down as well. So when I take, say bulk gear, something nice to drink, maybe a large barbecue set to help cook and that on the beach, which would be good, um, especially if there's a group there. Um, someone fishing that way. And yeah, so Chesil special this year will be a meet and greet. Really looking forward to that one, to be honest. There'll be more details later, and I'll set up a um, conversation starter and an intro video for that one, just to give all the details and let people know what the plans are, really. And some some bits I don't really want to give away yet, because it'd be nice when it's a surprise, but, you know, some collaborations. Collaborations are good. Other tubers. I've got a tuber to the left of me at the moment. He is a right tube, to be honest. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that one out. Um, no, I'm going to leave it in, because he knows. Anyone that's written a book, two books in fact, and had them published, he's got skills. He's got skills, but even tonight he's not catching. <laughs> I think my doggy and starfish trump his one white in. He's busy beavering away refreshing his baits and then I'll let you into a little secret because it's so quiet tonight I've put a two two hook clip down rig with some small baits on just to see if I can tease something else out because it is hard work tonight there's not much going on the evening sort of come to a bit of an end now so we're at high water me and Stu have both called it we're at slack 
it's been really quiet. We're talking to other anglers, fishing further down, they've been really quiet as well. They've got to the point where they're putting three hook scratching rigs on and they're going for tiny weighting. I'm not about that to be honest. Um, this evening I'm fishing at Eastney in front of the swim baths on the, on the, on the uh, let's think, eastern end of Portsmouth Water. I've got two rods in the water and I'm fishing. So what are we doing today? So I'm continuing my little minor trial for want of a better description or comparison between the Trident rig and the Gemini rig. I've got both pulley rigs out at the moment fishing whole squid in the hope of either a bass or, or maybe a ray and I've got company so there's more people here tonight we've got Richard the fishing guru is that way and we got Stu the sweet corn kid is fishing that way last night's fishing we did winkle some stuff out and it was a beautiful evening didn't even need the coat took my coat off in the end it was that warm last night certainly need it tonight it's a proper January evening so last night managed to winkle out a doggy a really skinny doggy a couple of tings and a Chinagara starfish <laughs> cue all the jokes no uh, one of the biggest starfish I've caught um, or seen even rather and it was really quiet I had four rods out Stu had three I think rods out we just weren't getting bites a couple of other guys fishing either side of us we spoke to them they weren't getting bites either and actually there was a big competition on Portsmouth side yesterday and there wasn't much caught there either so we were a little bit reluctant to come out tonight I had a chat with my brother he said I'm up for it I just want to get out of the house Stu he's trying out some rigs that he's been tying today he's trying to fine-tune an up and over rig that he's working on be interesting to see how he gets on with that For two reasons one he knows his stuff and two I just had a quick look at it and it looks pretty slick to be honest um, so yeah it's not raining it's not too windy but it is a southerly it's low tide at the moment and we are bang on six o'clock so we're into the flood we're gonna fish probably another four hours of the flood maybe five hours depending on how we get on um, bait wise yeah I've got a whole squid out on both rigs and I've got some bluey and squid wraps so all in oh there's <laughs> because it's a bit more sociable I'm making excuses now but because it's a bit more sociable and because there's people either side and we might stand around having a bit of a chat I put some jingle jingle budgie bells on my rods tonight I don't usually use those I've got jingle jingle budgie bells and so that I can see them from a distance in case I go and help either of the other two I've got star lights on as well I don't like using those either I'd rather not use either and just use my head torch so jingle jingle budgie bells and star lights so that I can be a bit more sociable have a chat with my brother go and annoy Stu disrupt his filming I can hear him talking to camera in the background it's starting to get a little bit desperate now with a little ting <laughs> and that's the size of the tings that are taking our bait and harassing us at the moment a tiny little critter and his little flippy floppy tail but yeah that's what all the jingling's about that's what's knocking all our big baits around and it is literally four or five inch tings just get that late four or five inch tings and that's it you can only catch what's in front of you no matter how hard you try you just can't magic fish out of nowhere you know little crap right I'm gonna get him back because he's quite fragile so it is desperately quiet tonight just made himself another brew try and cheer myself up even my scratching rig isn't scratching guy a couple of ways down just seen in this head torch he's just caught a little ting pretty desperate when you're even struggling to catch the tings. Rich is going to refresh his baits in a minute and so a quick trick of the time. Yeah I'm going to give my baits, I'm going to soak my baits for another 20 minutes. Another 20 minutes and then I'm going to uh, have them back in but I can't make this video exciting. I can't make it exciting because it is dire. It is absolutely barren. 
So two nights fishing, last night, tonight. Tried out loads of things. So I've been trying up and over rigs last night. Fish well, enjoyed using them, really good. I'm doing the pulley rigs tonight with the Trident and the Gemini. I've got a two hook flapper on my little scratching rod that's out at the moment. Just, I don't even know why that's out. I might pull it back in in a minute to be honest. Um, but if you haven't got a bait out, you can't catch fish. And you certainly can't catch fish sat on the sofa. So I'm glad I've come out tonight. It is a lovely night. It is January. I've got my hat on. I've got my warm clothes on. I've got a brew. Richard's just given me... Richard just gave me a honey and oat cake biscuit thing. That would have been amazing if someone had dipped it in chocolate. But it wasn't. <laughs> I sound ungrateful, don't I? It was a nice biscuit. But it wasn't a chocolate biscuit. So last night, doggies, tings and a starfish. A starfish. That was the highlight of the evening. I was surprised. Pulled it in, I knew it wasn't a fish, it was just heavy. Yeah, it just felt it's like you could feel it dragging through the water and sort of helicoptering, just twisting as it came back. Just prepped another bait on a bait loader, ready to go out. Standardised 36 inch hook snood with a swivel on the end. It goes on to the um, Termalink that I'm using from Trident and then just to detach it. It's all loaded up now, and that's it, good to go. Try and keep the lay of the hooks as, as nice and straight and clean as I can. On the hook length. I'm just going to go and put that on the tripod and start changing over my baits. See if I can tempt something in. <laughs> Needs a lot of work, I tell you that. So it's time for me to say goodbye tight lines and happy fishing and I hope to see you sometime soon. Bye for now.